Good morning, children. Good morning. How are you? Today's a special day. It is a special day. Mm -hmm. Christmas? I don't think so. Mm. Fourth of July. It's a good guess. Wrong color, though. So. Yep, it is. Easter! Who? It's Easter. Woo! It's Easter. Woo! So, first of all, we have someone we have to introduce you to. Daddy, do the honors. This is Teddy. He is our new puppy. He is two years old and he is very, very sweet. Even though he's got his little his little scraggle tooth out. He's a very sweet boy. Everybody say hello to Teddy. Hello, Teddy. Hi, Teddy. Happy Easter. We'll have to put a bow on him or something. <laughs> all right, so growing up, Darby, what were the favorite parts of Easter for you, if you remember? The chocolate. The chocolate. Well, I guess, <laughs> first of all, before that. Okay. Um, the Easter egg hunt. Yeah. I, I was always so excited. Me and my cousin would wake up so early because we were excited about the, the eggs that the Easter Bunny left us. Think any of the children now collect eggs? Do any of you collect eggs? Yeah. No. Yeah. I don't think they do that anymore. Well, just because your dad loves you quite a bit. Mm. Look what I brought. Easter egg. Whoa. Oh my gosh. So, even though the Easter Bunny isn't really a part of Easter. Christian Easter, yeah, we can talk about that another time. There were some Easter eggs I wanted to have you open. Okay. So, should we try? Yeah. All right. Here's the first one. Try the purple one. Purple. Uh oh. There's something nice. inside. Teddy's <laughs> excited about it. <laughs> Hold on, we'll get Teddy's reaction. Teddy, no. thoughts? He's like, no, not that interesting. It's mm. not food, but what it is. What is it? Can you get up close? It's a cross. It's a cross. So why is a cross important at Easter? Because Jesus was crucified on a cross. He was, and he even had to carry the cross there beforehand, yeah? So the cross is a very important part of what we call Easter. All right, next one is, hmm, I'm going to hope it's the white one. <laughs> we'll see. White egg. White. Oh. Oh. What are those? We have some nails. Three nails. Kind of rusty, aren't they? They are kind of rusty. They're kind of old. They're kind of, kind of crotchety. So... What, how do the nails play into Easter? What's, how do they get involved? When Jesus was crucified on the cross, the people that put him on the cross nailed through his both of his hands mm -hmm. and crucified him. Not very nice. No. Were they little nails like these? No, they were big. Yeah. And left big holes, big nasty. So one lesson for me has always been about Easter. It's just how incredibly mean that was. And that no matter what, probably never need to be that mean to, to anybody. anybody. Okay. How many left, children? Whoop, a couple. All right. Uh, let's go pink. Let's go pink. Fingers crossed. Ooh. Oh, this one's a heavy one. It's heavy. What is it? It's a stone. A stone. Ha! Huh. And what does the stone have to do with the Easter story? Well, Jesus was actually crucified three days before Easter. Mm -hmm. And he, everybody thought he was dead for three days. Super sad. Yes. Have you, did sad. you have anyone die when you were little? I did, yeah. I had a couple of pets die and a couple of my grandparents, unfortunately, passed away. Yeah. When somebody dies, it can be really sad. And I think a lot of people were really sad that Jesus died. And then what? Someone threw a stone? Like, how's this, how's <laughs> the stone come stone. into the story? Yeah. So somebody mm. actually went to visit Jesus mm. at, in his tomb. Um, to make sure that nobody would go into the tomb, they put a giant stone in front of the entrance to this cave that so they like kept Jesus in. Bigger than this one? Much, much bigger <laughs> than this stone. Okay. I think it would take lots of people to try to move that big rock. Got it. However, when somebody went to visit Jesus, at, at his, went to visit his tomb, they found that the stone was actually rolled away. Cool. Yeah. Way cool. Yeah. Big mystery. Yeah, what happened to the stone? And what, ha and what happened inside the tomb? Yeah, and then it was Mary Magdalene mm -hmm. going to visit him. Yeah. And she was like, oh my gosh, the stone has rolled away. What, what's happened to him? So she ran in. Stop. Last egg. <gasps> Spoilers. <laughs> Spoiler alert. What color is this one? 
It's yellow. Uh-huh. And let's see what's inside. It's not shaking. Hmm. There's nothing. Is it empty? It's empty. And what happened when they looked inside the tomb after they moved the stone? Mary ran inside and Jesus wasn't there. And where? The tomb was empty. The tomb was empty and Jesus, where had he, where had he gone? He'd left. He'd risen. He'd risen from the dead. Yeah. So big parts of Easter. The four parts are? The cross that Jesus was crucified on. Yep. The nails that they drove through his hands that they crucified him with. That's why that's the, season, the symbol for Jesus. Uh, that they put nails through his hands. Got it. Fun fact. Um, not so fun. No, not a fun fact. A fact. But a a fact good fact to know. A, yeah, a good got fact. it. Um, the stone that mm-hmm. was rolled away from his tomb and the fact that Jesus was gone on the third day. He had risen from the dead. Wow. Wow. Awesome story. Should we pray? Yes. You want to pray with us, children? Repeat after me, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. For showing us, for showing us the power of you rising from the dead. The power of you rising from the dead. Help us to celebrate. Help us to celebrate a wonderful Easter. A wonderful Easter. With our families. With our families. And to always love each other. And to always love each other. Amen. Amen. Happy Easter. Bye, children. Bye, children. Have a great time. Fine.